I'm Engineer Ryan Abinoha from University of Southeastern Philippines. Proudly present the Coconut Climbing Device. <laughs> This project was initiated since there is a shortage of manual laborers and coconut climbing needs to be mechanized. The coconut industry is experiencing shortage in available labor due to aging manpower without sufficient skilled successors. Climbing requires skill which is a product of years of experience. This job is not for newbies and part-timers if done manually. That is why the coconut industry needs a tool to ensure safety of the laborers during the operation, both on dry and rainy conditions. They imported climbing device from India, but the device was not suited to the local conditions of our trees. In terms of price and costing, this device only costs 4,000 pesos compared to 20,000 pesos of the imported ones. The University of Southeastern Philippines initiated a study funded by DOST Cradle to solve the problem. Several prototypes were fabricated and experiments were conducted to test the performance of the device. The imported and the local fabricated were compared. The climbing speed, setup and removal time, safety rating were recorded on both dry and rainy conditions. The used climbing device is faster to set up and remove from the tree. This device is designed to suit for our local coconut tree condition. This device can also be used during the rainy season without compromising the safety of the climber. Wearing of safety harness. Installation of the device. Securing the harness for the safety of the user. The user mounts the device. Rollers in action. It has a homing mechanism that allows the device to be left to the tip of the trunk while the farmer climb up higher to the crown. It has safety and sturdy look locking mechanisms to ensure the welfare of the user. We've also developed a gender-flexible device. Training a female user. This research is conducted to mechanize these operations. Imported and local technology will be utilized and refined to suit for domestic condition and practices. 